implementation. Uh, thank you. Uh, my second question is also for you, Mr. Uh, Wilkins. Sure. Um, you sent a letter to Minister Blair requesting uh, adequate supply of test kits for the purpose of testing uh, critical staff. As of today, close to two months later, has the minister responded to your letter and have you received the adequate supply uh, test kits? We have not uh, re had a response in writing by the minister, but we have spoken, and uh, it's only now that uh, that we're seeing uh, it's starting in Quebec region and also in the the uh, Pacific region that uh, random tests will be offered for staff at the institutional level, and that of course is something that we had been asking for. So that's uh, almost two and a, two months later. So it's it's beginning to uh, to rear its head because I think uh, society in general has learned that asymptomatic testing is something that will be important and I think it's uh, beginning there now. Uh, thank you. Um, are we ready for a second wave that we're hearing about and in your opinion has the government made the necessary adjustments to ensure Canada's correction facilities are ready for that second wave? Uh, well, you know, when it comes to, like I mentioned in my opening comment, we can't go home. We have to make sure that our borders are protected. And it all depends on the actions that we take now as to, uh, you know, if we're going to be prepared for a second wave. Uh, of course, effectively, if you can keep everybody from entering the facility, you're going to keep COVID from coming out. But we have uh, members that have to go back and forth to work. Uh, you know, it's so if we're looking to reopen uh, and uh, embrace ourselves for a second wave we have to be willing to shut down just as the rest of Canada is right now uh, you know and I do believe when it comes to personal protective equipment all of those things exist we are prepared in that way uh, and uh, of course um, you know we need to prepare ourselves to make sure that we have uh, social distancing still continuing to happen in the institution to prevent any spread if it does enter thank you very much thank, thank you. you chair Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Wilkin, very quickly, uh, you, you mentioned random testing. Uh, is that adequate in your view or should it be handled differently? Well, one reason that we were calling for uh, testing in the institutions uh, and that I wrote my letter to the Minister of Public Safety was with regard to Port Cartier. When Port Cartier, uh, the outbreak first happened there, we saw a significant majority of our membership had to go home to uh, self-isolate for 14 days. In fact, they were down from uh, 200 members there to around uh, 70, 75 members. And of course, that puts a lot of strain on the people that continue to work. So our our response to that was that we need to have these people tested so that if they are negative then that they could come back to work because sitting at home wasn't an option so what's happening now is a voluntary test uh, you know you can get it while asymptomatic but it's going to clearly help chart uh, the, the the moving forward and hopefully uh, and hopefully uh, help combat the virus thank you uh, very much. Uh, 